I suppose I'm a bit biased. As a geologist, I think Mount Moran is the most incredible mountain in Grand Teton National Park. Formed from a massive block of metamorphic gneiss, cut by dikes of igneous granite and diabase, capped by sedimentary sandstone, and flanked by glaciers, this peak dominates the park's northern skyline. Like the other high peaks in the Teton Range, most of Mount Moran is metamorphic gneiss. This rock formed when two continents collided almost three billion years ago, much like India and Asia are colliding to form the Himalayan Range today. With burial, heat and pressure transform or metamorphose sediments and volcanic debris into layered gneiss. White layers, rich in quartz and feldspar, alternate with black layers, rich in biotite, mica, and hornblende to produce this zebra-striped rock. Look closely to see light-colored stripes slicing across the gneiss. These are veins or dikes of igneous granite. As these ancient continents collided, part of the crust melted and magma squeezed into cracks crystallizing around two and a half billion years ago. Even though the minerals and granite are the same as gneiss, granite is speckled because of its molten origin rather than layered. It's hard to miss the 200 foot wide vertical black dike that transects the face of Mount Moran. This igneous dike is made of diabase. Nearly a billion years ago, iron rich magma squeezed into cracks and cooled. Today, the dike protrudes from the face of the mountain because diabase resists erosion more than the surrounding gneiss. If you stood on the summit and examined the small patch of rock at your feet, you would realize that it is different from the surrounding rocks. This rusty tan rock is sedimentary sandstone, deposited as a beach 500 million years ago. As the range began to rise roughly 10 million years ago, erosion stripped this sandstone from the other high peaks, leaving this odd patch behind. By late summer, winter snow has melted and the white patches you see on Mount Moran are glaciers. There are five small glaciers on the peak. These are not remnants of the Pleistocene Ice Age, but formed during a cool period called the Little Ice Age that ended around 1850. Currently, these glaciers are shrinking, so appreciate them now because they may soon be gone. As you travel through Grand Teton National Park, remember what you have learned about Mount Moran and contemplate the other peaks. Look for glaciers, layers of sedimentary rock, and dikes of diabase and granite cutting the faces of these majestic mountains. Mm -hmm.